Hi everybody, my name is Pulkit Chhabda and in this video we will be discussing the problem D of code forces round 630 div 2 and the name of the problem as you can see is walk on matrix. So without wasting any time let's get to the problem, I'll read the problem out to you guys. Uh, the problem says that Bob is playing a game called name uh, walk, of, walk on Mat matrix. Uh, in this game the player is given an n cross m matrix. Uh, and aij represents the element in the ith row and jth column and initially the player is located at position 1 comma 1 with score a111 and to reach the goal position nm player can uh, move down or right that is uh, these moves are allowed as long as the player is still on the matrix okay however each move changes players score to the bitwise end of the current score and the value at the matrix uh, at the position he moves to uh, okay without moving further let's say if the path that that he chose was uh, for example i1 j1 comma i2 j2 and so on the score is going to be a i1 j1 and a i2 j2 and so on right so uh, it says that Bob can't wait to find out the maximum score he can get. So he used uh, a dynamic programming algorithm to find the answer to the solution. You can see what the algorithm is. Okay, I'll just read it out once. The matrix, uh, let's say, is A and output is a maximum score S that he can uh, get after reaching the goal. Uh, initialize DP IJ with 0 for all I is from 1 to N and J is from 1 to M except dp of 0 1 equals to a 1 1 okay then iterate the matrix uh, row wise and dp of ij equals to max of dp i minus 1 j and a i j and dp i j minus 1 uh, and a i j all right and uh, our answer is going to be dp of nm so it basically get the just upper and just uh, towards the left dp values take the and of both uh, with the current element and the max of both is going to be the value of the current uh, you know cells dp value however he suddenly realizes that the algorithm above fails to output the maximum score for some matrix thus for any given non negative integer k he wants to find out an n cross m matrix uh, such that n and m are in the range 1 to 500 and a i j values are in the range 0 to 3 into 10 raised to power 5 and uh, the difference between the maximum score that he can get the actual answer that uh, he wanted and the output of his algorithm is exactly k which means the actual answer minus the output it should be exactly k it can be shown that for any integer for uh, such that k is between 0 to 10 raised to power 5 there exists a matrix satisfying the following conditions we just need to uh, find that matrix in the output in the input we'll be just getting the integer k in the output we need to print n and m the dimensions of the matrix and the you know all the aig values such that all of the aig values are between uh, 0 and 3 into 10 raised to power 5 and n m values in, are between 1 and 500 right i hope the question is pretty clear to you guys uh, from this point onwards, I'll be discussing the solution. So in case you want to think about it yourself, you can pause and think it around, right? So uh, before jumping to the solution itself, we basically first need to see why this algorithm is going to uh, fail. For this, I have written down an example for the matrix, uh, which might you know explain you how why it fails let's say this is the matrix where all of the uh, i have written the values in the binary uh, uh, form and uh, let's say the all of the left hand up values in this particular matrix that i have marked with these dotted lines are 1 1 1 1 okay and these values i have written down separately and let's basically try to you know see what the dp values are going to be dp values if we see the db values of for all these you know cells are going to be 1111 only because all of the values themselves are 1111 and so no matter what path i choose the uh, the you know and values are also going to be 1111 so coming to this cell this cell the db value is going to be okay let's first uh, see for this cell for this cell the db value is going to be 100 only because this and this uh, both are going to be 1111 as i have 
given you in the example for this one also it's going to be 0 1 0 1 right for this one it's going to be the max of uh, the and values of these two and we can see uh, taking uh, the and if we take and of 1 0 0 0 uh, 1 triple 0 the answer is going to be 1 triple 0 only and for this the answer is going to be 0 1 0 1 only and uh, since this one is the larger one the answer is going to be the dp of dp value for this cell is going to be 1 triple 0 parallelly for this cell it's going to be 1 triple 0 itself and for this cell it's going to be the max of these two so it's 1 triple 0 only and for these two as we can see the values are same only uh, and the uh, and taking the and is gonna result in 0 0 0 0 so this dp algorithm says that our uh, you know answer is going to be 0 0 0 for this uh, you know matrix but if we see if we uh, you know choose our path to be to be this instead of you know uh, this our answer is going to be 0 1 0 because 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 1 is going to be 0 1 0 1 only then taking again and with the same number our answer is going to be 0 1 0 1 so to get the feel of why our uh, dp failed we basically took the maximum uh, you know answer from the previous states but to calculate the answer let's say for you know this particular uh, element we know that uh, for this particular element it has one on zeroth and second index from the right and rest of the you know uh, indices have zero value so we do not we do not basically need the maximum dp values you know the maximum and values till these uh, indices we need the maximum and values for only you know uh, if we only consider those indices which are having a value one in this particular number uh, what i'm basically trying to say is the you know <clears throat> the coefficient the basically uh, let me you know label the indices 0 1 2 3 i do not care if the value at 1 and 3 is 1 or 0 because uh, eventually the the value in the and are going to be zero only because our current element has value zero in those indices the indices though which matter are only 0 and 2 so we only need the maximum considering only these two uh, indices and if we see uh, you know 0 0 is triple 0 triple 0 is uh, having a 0 value if we can 1 triple 0 is having a 0 value if we consider only 2 and 0 uh, indices and uh, the value is 1 0 1 only if we consider only 0 and uh, 0 and 2 indices and in this case this is give, this is going to give us the greater answer but the original algorithm but the algorithm that is stated in the question just takes the overall maximum value which clearly isn't uh, you know going to be correct right i hope you get a feeling of why uh, the that particular solution is going to fail now after having gotten the feeling i basically tried to make an array of uh, 2 cross 2 to see if the solution can fail and clearly uh, for 2 cross 2 the solution is going to be always correct let's say uh, a 1 2 a 1 2 1 and a 2 2 so this particular dp value is going to be the correct value and this also and this also because there is only one you know path for these values and for this also we'll be taking the max of this combination and this combination so the value is always going to be correct for this particular value also so i wasn't able to uh, you know make a two cross two matrix basically while you know jumping to the solution i was trying to uh, you know construct the matrix myself construct a very small matrix of maybe two cross two or two cross three or two three cross three in which uh, the answer is always going to be k the difference is always going to be k so after having uh, tried to cross two, I tried for three cross three, and uh, after some hit and trial, and uh, basically using that particular intuition, which led to uh, make me believe that why uh, that DP solution does not work, I landed in the matrix having values two power eighteen minus one, two power eighteen minus one. 2 power 17 2 power 18 minus 1 again then k then 2 raised to power 17 plus k then 2 raised to power 8, 17 2 raised to power 17 plus k 
के एंड के विच वॉज यू नो डूइंग द वर्क फ्रॉम मी लेट मी क्विकली यू नो एक्सप्लेन हाउ दिस डज द वर्क एंड एन आइडिया बिहाइंड हाउ आई रीच हेयर इफ वी सी द वैल्यूज इन द बाइंड्री फॉर्म दीज आर गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू ऑल वंस विच इज एटीन टाइम्स वन एंड अगेन ऑल वंस एंड देन वन फॉलोड बाई सेवनटीन जीरोज विच इज टू पा सेवनटीन सेवनटीन जीरोज देन अगेन ऑल वंस देन अगेन वन फॉलोड बाय सेवनटीन जीरोज एंड देन के and then to power seventeen plus k which means one followed followed by k again one followed by k and then k why is this eighteen and seventeen let me explain uh, the value of k was from you know one I don't know one or zero let's say it was zero to one e five right so we need at most seventeen bits to uh, you know represent any number that is less than or equal to ten raised to power five and I basically wanted to you know get a number that is greater than all of those numbers so i used the number for having 17 bits zero and then one left uh, then basically and and basically uh, one more one that is 2 power 17 and 2 power 17 is, go is going to be larger than all those numbers right so <clears throat> and i uh, got these all ones so that they do not affect the and values of this uh, you know of these indices of the diagonal ones and the after the diagonals right now if we try and see what are the dp values for this particular you know uh, matrix for these three these are going to be all ones only and for this one and this one also they are going to be equal to the number itself that is 1 and then again zeros 1 and then again zeros and then for the uh, middle element also it's going to be k itself right now the uh, game will change with these now if we see for both of these uh, for this one also one of the values is 1 followed by all zeros and k for this also the one value is k and then another is one followed by all zeros and the values themselves are one followed by k now the and of k and one followed by k is going to be k and one followed by all zeros and one followed by k is going to be one followed by all zeros right this is going to be the larger value so the dp value will store one followed by all zeros and one followed by all zeros in both the cases and if we take both of them uh, and if we take and of this value with k we are going to result in zero because the last element is k but uh, if we see we have a path this is which is with this one this one this one and this one which results in the and value of basically k the and value was all ones all ones then k then again k then again k right so the difference in this case is going to be k the intention was again basically to you know store the uh, dp values which give us the maximum answer instead of the you know uh, instead of the maximum answer considering only those bits which are you know one in k right as we discussed in the case above uh where did we discuss yeah in this case 0 1 0 1 we just needed to consider only the bit 0 and 1 but the dp values considered all the all the bits so the overall maximum is not required we just require maximum considering only the bits which are one in that particular number i hope uh, the example uh, sorry the solution that i you know constructed is clear to you guys if i just print this for any k value it will give me this answer let's now go and code i don't think there's much of work left now we'll get the value of k if k is not uh, if k equal 0 then we can simply print 1 1 and basically any value let's say 100 right 
else what we can do is uh, print 3 by 3 and uh, then uh, let's say all 1 is to uh, 1 raised to power 18 minus 1 and uh, 2 power 17 uh, power 17 let's say equals to 2 raised to sorry 1 left shift 17 and k is k only and uh, the yeah the rest of the values are we, we are having so we'll just print in the first line 2 raised to power 18 minus 1 which is all 1 again all 1 and then 1 followed by zeros which is power 17 and backslash n and then i'll print again first all 1 then i needed to print power 17 plus no only k right then i needed to print uh, power 17 plus k then I need to print all ones then power 17 plus k and then again k that's it let's just see the sample test case or zero it will simply print a one cross one matrix yeah for one it's three, three cross three and uh, I hope it's correct let's see It keeps it keeps wrong answer I think I made some mistake or what all one all one and then uh, 2 raised to power 17 then backslash and then all one then k then 2 raised to power 17 plus k okay it was not all one it was 2 raised to power 17 2 raised to power 17 right yeah i think now it will work let's try and submit it again Yeah, it's accepted now this question was basically about you know uh, making things work and you know manipulating the bits and trying and trying and seeing and trying to make the difference equal to k that was basically about it uh, i don't know how to basically you know give you a roadmap by which you can reach the solution i also you know uh, sort of used hit and trial and some logic bit logic to get to the solution uh, I hope the working of, of the solution is clear to you guys that how is this giving the correct answer always. Uh, if there is some doubt you can comment down below and I will try to get back to you. I uh, will also link down the solution in the video description if that is required. Uh, thank you. See you guys in the next video.